It is time for Ask the Derm, and today we have a little game. Name that rash. <laughs> Name that rash? <laughs> da, 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 da. Name that rash. Joining me this morning, Dr. William Groff. Okay, we're going to go through a couple of rashes. You're going to put them up. I'm going to try to guess right. what is what, right? Yeah, you're always really good. When we've done other segments, you always seem to know everything. I so have no idea about let's put rashes. It to the though. test. This is not my uh, strong suit. Well, we'll uh, let's, see. let's go ahead and put them up. Here are the options right here. Okay, so this is one of the rashes. Right. And I like the lights blinging around it too. It suddenly makes that rash <laughs> look not so terrible. See? Okay, so here are the choices. We'll put up the choices. We have four choices. Right. Um, they are nickel allergy, viral rash, poison ivy, and shingles. Uh, I am gonna say that other one is nickel allergy. No, unfortunately no. it's not. Close, that was my second choice. Close, Viral rush though. was my second choice. Yeah, you can see these are common in little children. Like if they get a cold, flu, if they're exposed to a, you know stress at school, they can break out in a rash. And the way you can tell it's this specific viral rash is see that large red um, dot in the, in the center there? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, we call it a plaque. But anyway, and then it's got a bunch of smaller ones around it. This can extend over the entire like trunk of the child, but it doesn't itch or really bother them. It just looks kind of scary to parents if they've never seen it before, but it's completely harmless. Usually goes away in about mm, anywhere from a week to eight weeks. Okay, so nothing to worry about there. Nothing to worry about. Okay, let's put our next rash up, shall we? Why not? Oh, mercy. I have, I don't, I'm gonna say shingles. Wow, boom. Boom. You got it. I, I didn't know, but that was a yeah, good guess. That's yeah. awesome. Now shingles, patients will get a lot of blistering and it's very uncomfortable, very painful, more common in an older patient. It's usually 50s, 60s where their immune system's not quite up to snuff anymore. But uh, it's important if patients have this type of rash come in and see us because we can treat it and make them feel a lot better and prevent some complications. So. Gotcha. But good okay. job. Very good. That's Thanks. awesome. Ah. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get to the next one. This one has to be, uh, let's, what are the choices? Uh-oh. It's got to be nickel, yeah. There you go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's in the distribution of where maybe a wedding ring would be. Right. So a lot of uh, less expensive jewelry will contain nickel, and it's a very common allergy. So um, if you want to avoid that sort of thing, either get stainless steel, platinum, uh, gold, yellow gold. Now, actually, white gold, some white gold does have nickel in it. Okay. But if you've already invested in the ring, you can get the ring coated so that the nickel will not leach out onto your skin and cause the rash. That's good to know. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, hey, you're two for three. Hey, I'm winning so good. far, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, lastly, this is obviously poison ivy right here. Wow, look at you, 75%. Well, there was only one choice left, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at uh, deduction. So I guess the interesting thing about poison ivy is it's not actually the leaf of the plant, it's the oil that the plant secretes. So if you're out hiking, you can come back home and you can actually uh, transmit the poison ivy to family members if it's on your clothing, like say you hug your child and it's on your shirt, the oil, right. you can give it to your child. So you want to make sure if you're out hiking that you wash your clothes in uh, like hot soapy water. Okay, very yeah. good. So you'd say I, I won, I basically won Yeah, listen show. now, you did so well. <laughs> I'm so impressed that what? I'm going to give you this honorary dermatology degree. Oh, you were anticipating my yeah. doing well. What I if I'd have bombed? Well. You would have you had to take bombed. that home. That would have been uh, sad. You're awesome. This is awesome. Thank yeah, you. you're I'm a dermatologist gonna, for a day. I'm going to frame this and put this over you my come into my office and see fireplace. patients. <laughs> Dr. Groff, thank you. Right. To get in touch with Dr. Groff, we're going to put the info up on our website. It's also up on your screen right there. He's located in the UTC area. We've got more information on our website. Fox Fox5SanDiego.com. Click that scene on tap. Raul, I always love it when I pitch a, a segment idea as a joke in the afternoon meeting. And then it comes to fruition live on our show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that was fun. There should have been more prizes at the end. I'm right? just saying, Dr. Groff. <laughs> Candy or flowers. Or something. Well, you got that. That's not like bad. That. It's laminated? Is it laminated? It is. It's wow, never mind then. Time and effort. Oh, I didn't know it was laminated. That's special. <laughs> All right, thank you guys.